Hi folks, um, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to um, do a sys upgrade um, pretty precisely without having to type in a lot of commands. Uh, I've created about five different scripts to aid me in that process which allows also allows me to run the sys upgrade remotely. Okay. Um, while I'm at work. So, um, any kind of upgrade and so forth is done by the time anyone gets home. So, uh, to aid me in that process, let me first say, uh, when you do a sys upgrade, sys upgrade dash v and then temp and then the direct whatever directory is in and whatever file name it is it copies over anything that's in your sys that's I'm sorry that's in your etc config directory anything okay uh, all your config files and any directories you have in there so I created a directory called scripts that's why I put my sys upgrade scripts that aid me in this process. So when I do the sys upgrade, it carries over all those scripts. Okay. And I create, um, I use this one and one of these two. Um, make overlay formats my partition, my 500 megabyte partition on my hard drive and um, goes through and makes all the entries in FS tab. This one does the same but it doesn't it doesn't format it makes all the overlay entries in partition in, in FS tab but it doesn't format the partition on, on the USB drive on the hard drive. Um, I use two of these because if I do a sys upgrade and the kernel in uh, the kernel doesn't change I'll use this option which cuts down a lot of time it doesn't have to format the partition reinstall all the packages if the kernel changes I'll use this option which formats creates all the entries in FS tab and formats the kernel I'm sorry formats the drive and installs the packages well it formats the drive and installs all the entries for FS tab for overlay I should say. After I've done that I run uh, this one right here. This this goes through and uh, checks a text file I have of all the packages listed in it installs everything. So I'll show you these scripts real quick then I'll go ahead and start running them. So that's all it is. Install the necessary packages for USB. Uh, next one is make overlay. Makes a directory. Uh, I have a default FS tab that has only my USB uh, storage mounts. I'll run that. I'll run that and uh, I'll, I'll copy that over and then this uh, formats the drive or makes the uh, partition and then um, mounts it and then copies over overlay files to that temporary directory and this creates all the entries in FS tab for the overlay settings commits it makes swap um, I have a, also have a partition for swap makes the swap entries in FS tab and reboots uh, after that's done uh, this is the same thing except it doesn't it doesn't format the partition it keeps whatever's on it all of my overlay packages 
uh, after after it reboots this is the last one I run this is just a script that goes out to that text file does an update goes out to the text file and installs whatever packages are listed in this text file okay after I start installing that I reboot um, this file copies over all my custom scripts that I created backup scripts and so forth and that's uh, backed up to one of my USB storage mounts or partitions and copies it over to the u user slash bin directory and I also run start for Samba and print server alright Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Um, so let's run upgrade first. This will go out and run sys upgrade, download the uh, current bin the current sys upgrade bin file for my model router. Writes it to memory and we'll reboot in just a second here. As I said, this uh, using this method, once you have it, all the scripts set up the way you want it, and it works perfect without any errors, uh, you can run this these scripts remotely and uh, run the sys upgrade and install everything, set up your you know format your partitions, etc. Run your packages, you know, install your packages all remotely. Back into the uh, scripts directory, and we ran this. Next thing we're going to do is make overlay, and we'll just do a complete format. It's asking, do you want to format this partition? Yes. And it copies over over all the overlay uh, modules, and such and does another reboot. All right, it's done. It's completing. Uh, it's completed um, installing all my packages from that uh, backup text file that I have all the packages in, and um, overlay is now used about 20 uh, 20 percent of the overlay uh, partition, 40 megabytes. Uh, like I said, uh, you don't need a real huge partition. Um, for overlay. 
I've got a lot of packages installed, installed and only have used 20%. So uh, the last remaining script I run is this one right here. It just copies over all my custom scripts from a backup mount point and uh, sends it to the uh, user flash bin directory. Does it very quickly. So at this point I should be back in to normal as I was before uh, before the uh, sys upgrade. Um, and uh, as, as you can see it's pretty quick. You can do everything, recover everything, install your uh, latest uh, firmware, uh, install all your packages and scripts and settings uh, in about 20 minutes running these scripts. I'll go ahead and post these uh, scripts on paste bin or on my Google Drive account and share um, in, in the description link. If you have any questions, drop me a comment um, and I'll, I'll be sure to answer it. Hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, helped you out. Hopefully it uh, aids you in the process of uh, uh, doing an upgrade on your kernel, on, on your uh, firmware. Um, and uh, helps you out in the future. Appreciate everyone watching. Thanks.